What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right. So before I get into this video, I want to give a shout out to a couple of subscribers for showing love to the channel. Much respect to Marcel uh, for the ten dollar donation via the Cash App. Leaves a note saying, "Wilt is the greatest of all time." You're right. Well, very few people agree with me on that one now, but I truly appreciate that you do. And I also want to give a shout out to Trey for the five dollar donation via the Cash App. He says, "Salute to Raw." Joe Biden fell again. LML. Man, that dude need a cane, man. He need a cane at this point, man. But because he's president, and you know he don't want to feed into the image that he's old. He's not going to get one. But if you keep falling like that, man, you, you know you need a cane. And, you know, you know, look, I don't blame the Republicans for making jokes about him being old. If you keep fucking falling into the fucking stereotype, you keep trailing off when you're talking and you keep falling and, you know, walking around like you like you got a diaper on and shit. Not that Trump's a fucking spring chicken himself. But damn. Skin looking like you got a... Scooby-Doo mask on. I would have got away with it wasn't for you meddling kids. Like you just pull that shit right off around his neck. But anyway, much respect for you for showing love to Too Raw for TV, a.k.a. Too Raw for Sports. So, this is a request that I got. What do I think would have happened if Kobe Bryant played with Will Chamberlain? <coughs> In particular... The Sixers version of Will Chamberlain. Now, of course, the Wilt that people think about with the Sixers is the one that was displayed the last two seasons when he wasn't winning scoring titles. His scoring, of course, subsequently went down a lot. His shot attempts went down a lot. His field goal percentage went way up, though. And uh, he was more of a playmaker, uh, all-around guy, playmaker, rebounder, defender, and scorer when need be. So how would that version play with Kobe? Well, I mean, you got to look at different situations and different variables. I'm assuming... That everything is constant with the exception of instead of Shaq, it's Wilt. So they're playing the triangle offense, which is all, uh, you know, obviously a motion offense. It can be a complicated offense. And, you know, Wilt, I'm assuming, because of the major changes. In the way games were officiated in the 90s and 2000s, as opposed to when he played, Wilt would play like much differently than he did when he was playing in his prime. You know, if you look at highlights of Wilt, Wilt only started switching to a power game toward the last two or three years of his career. And you know why that's the case? Because only by the early 70s was the NBA starting to lack some of its defensive rules. Centers used to be able to double hand check. You couldn't lean your shoulder into, into uh, the, de to the uh, defender. Or they would call an offensive foul immediately. Shaq made a living, a killing off of doing that. Which is why I say if Shaq played in the 60s, he would have struggled. He would have fouled out. Because he, would, he wouldn't have been to play that way. But you allow Will Chamberlain, a guy who had to develop more of a actual offensive game, because he couldn't utilize his strength, which is considered the greatest in the history of being a guy that could bench press at least 550 pounds when he was in his prime. Some people find it hard to believe, right? But then you find this out, and this has been verified. As strong as Ben Wallace was, he's one of the strongest players to ever play. In his prime, he could bench press 465, right? 
Will Chamberlain, when he was almost 60 and had heart issues, could bench press 465. When he was 59. So I ask people, how in the world do you think it's impossible for this man when he was 25, 30 years old, even 35, maybe even 40, to bench press well over 500 pounds? It makes no sense. <laughs> so yeah, he's been... He, he's been authenticated by none other than fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's verified that this guy can bench press over 550 pounds. Maybe 570. So anyway, imagine a guy that fucking strong. Being able to play like Shaq. And not only that, Will had a stronger core. Much stronger core than Shaq. Lower body strength. I, I I know sometimes it's like I'm like I'm I'm dick riding Wilt, but I don't think people quite understand what type of specimen this guy was, and and to put him in a league where he could utilize his strength to that degree, it would be a joke. And then you have him going against Todd McCullough, uh, a old ass Rick Smith in the finals. And the Kim Matumbo, who's a great shot blocker. But Lord, do you see how Shaq abused that man because of his physicality? Now we're talking about Wilt. Now, Wilt didn't have uh, a jump hook in his game like that, but he had uh, a finger roll, obviously. Uh, Wilt had not a jump hook, but sort of like a almost like a flicking type overhand shot. You know, so you, you may have seen that shit. I, f- I forgot what the fuck you call it. But he had that. Of course, he had a jumper. But when he was a little bit older, he played more more in the paint. And I'm assuming in the NBA, he's going to play in the 90s. He's going to play more like how Shaq played. So just imagine a guy almost as big as Shaq but stronger, but a better leaper, a better shot blocker, a better passer, a lot more endurance, and a greater rebound, playing with Kobe. I'm not going to put up numbers and stats and stuff like that because it's too hard to quantify like what he would do, you know. Of course, he had some of the same weaknesses. He was a poor free throw shooter. Actually, somewhat even worse than Shaq, statistically. Shaq was 52%, Wilt 51%. So they're about the same. But Wilt had um, seasons where he shot in the 30s. But then again, Wilt also had seasons, a couple seasons where he shot in the 60s. And I think Shaq only had one. But they were both poor free throw shooters. Um, I guess it's the same strategies in some ways, man. Um, Hacker Wilt, Hacker Shack. But the th- the difference, one of the biggest differences, they have athleticism, and Wilt Chamberlain had arguably the greatest endurance of any player. Uh, I think the greatest endurance ever. I don't even think it's really questionable. He had the greatest endurance of any basketball player I've ever seen. The guy averaged 45 minutes a game in a very fast-paced NBA. 45 minutes a game. That's what he averaged. He had seasons averaging 46, 47 minutes a game. So this is a guy that would probably play in the 90s that was a slower-paced game in the late 90s or 2000s. More emphasis on defense, but I still see this guy will averaging 43, 44 minutes a night. So just being on the floor, um, he's going to average a lot more numbers. <clears throat> Wilt was very good at not drawing fouls. So I don't think he would be as foul prone as Shaq could be at times. He was smarter than like as far as how he guarded people. Um, but, then, but then again, there's some people that will tell you that Wilt didn't like not being on the floor. 
And that when he developed that streak of not fouling out, it was always in his subconscious. So, were there times when Shaq, uh, excuse me, if Wilt was playing with the Lakers, would there be times when he may be hurting the team because he's not playing hard defensively because he's worried about fouling out? That's a distinct possibility. Now, as far as him playing with Kobe and how that would work, both are very competitive. Um, I think Kobe would get along better with Wilt because unlike Shaq, Wilt actually did work on his body. He did work on his game. <clears throat> now, Wilt was a bit of an egomaniac. That might clash with Kobe at times. But I think that they would probably have a better relationship. Uh, Wilt was, like Kobe, an articulate man, intelligent, um, a little bit unusual in his politics and temperament and certain things, his, his, his taste. He had a very unique personality. I think uh, Kobe and Wilt would probably get along a lot better. I really do. I think they'd get along a lot better. Um, I think especially if, if Wilt had never won a title by that point, which happened in real life, Wilt hadn't won a title before he went to Philly. So let's just say he hadn't won a title. I think he'd be a lot more willing to listen to whatever Phil Jackson had to say, what he wants from Wilt, and um, I think they would be very successful. I don't know how many championships they would have won. There's so many different variables, variables you got to look at. But, I mean, best case scenario, three-peat, maybe four. Um, if you're forcing me to put numbers out there, if Shaq in his MVP year averaged 20, what was it, 29.7, 13 point something rebounds, and close to three blocks maybe, Oh man, if 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 Wilt had that type of role in the offense, then a prime Wilt man, I would see shit. Thirty-two points, seventeen rebounds. <laughs> I'd say four and a half assists. Man, I, I can't even quantify the blocks, man. It, it'd be something ridiculous. I, I would say six blocks a game. His figure percentage would be real, real ridiculous. Something like in the sixty-one percent, sixty-two percent range. Terrible free throw shooter, but he gets to the foul line a lot. I think he'll get to the foul line like thirteen, fourteen times um, a game, but he probably only make about fifty percent of them. Um, don't think he'd take that many shots, but he wouldn't need to because he would be so efficient. Maybe 18 shots a game. Uh, and, and as Kobe developed, his scoring would go down, Wilts, but the team would get better. And I think Wilt would make a conscious effort to make life easier for Kobe. You know, get Kobe better looks uh, because he's a better passer than Shaq was. And um, I think as Kobe develops, I think Wilt would start racking up more triple doubles I don't think Wilt would care so much when he starts winning championships I don't think he would give a shit about scoring as much anymore unless he gets called out by some stupid ass knucklehead hey man I, uh, I think Wilt man he, he washed up man he can't do what he did before man oh really ha 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 okay I'll <laughs> well, you gotta show these young folks sometimes. You know, you gotta show them, you know. <laughs> you know. But, uh, yeah, man. I think um, Wilt would actually make Kobe's life easier. Uh, I think Wilt would take Kobe under his wing to sort of expedite his basketball journey, if, if, if that makes any sense. You know. Um, but anyway, that's just my guess, man. I really don't know. 
But that's just my guess, man. Tell me what you guys think.